Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Legends! And in this episode of our 70s season, as David Pearson, the Silver Fox, we should be doing race 18 at Michigan International Speedway, as it's still known all the way back in the 70s. It's a 49-lap race, the Michigan 400, this weird golden logo right here. We have raced at Michigan before, which was the Motor State 400, race 12. And we won that race after doing a 360 down the back stretch because I drove into a lap car like a moron. So hopefully I don't do that this time. And if I do, <laughs> hopefully I can save it the exact same way. You know, Bobby Allison got the pole there, and Bobby Allison didn't have too hot of a race last episode. We just raced at Atlanta a few days ago, for Atlanta International Raceway or whatever, the freaking super speedway version. And our first Atlanta race that we blew the engine lap for, this one, we won. Got our sixth win of the season. Um, here are the standings right now. We're one point behind Elmo Langley. I should totally be able to finally get into sixth because we're great at Michigan. I won there last time. I dominated the whole freaking damn race. And um, then he's got 55 points behind Kelly Yarrow. Okay, at the moment, Kelly Yarrow is the pole sitter for this one. Go figure. Richard Petty's all the way back here. You know, Bobby Allison got the pole last time. He's third. And I should be taking from all these guys with their 45s and a couple with 46s. And then they've got uh, six more after me. Yeah, here we come through the front straightaway of Michigan. Take note, there's no one in the stands right now. It's completely empty. And you got the flag. Man, he even waves the flag. There's some things about this old, old game with, you know, not, not much texturing to it, you know, reflections off the cars and changes in lighting. I mean, there's, you can see the glares of the sun, but still. There's things that this game does that you don't get in any other game. And there's no reason why they can't. You little extra details with the people in the stands reacting to your movements like you can Gran Turismo uh, later games. Or just having a flagman actually wave the flag instead of lights that flash. They should have both. Um, did not put on the lap information or whatever. Yeah, F1 lap info. Should only take one lap to get that under 45, right? Yep, I'm the pole sitter right now. I don't really care if anyone's going to take it from me. Because we're good enough. And, yeah, come on. No one's going to take it from us. Destruction! Okay, here's the starting lineup before we go into this race. Richard Petty starting ninth. I think Dick Brooks was like the only person that actually qualified up front out of those last six people. Everyone else kind of went down to the bottom. Donnie Allison down there. Buddy Baker, 15th. Elmo Langley starting 16th. So, yeah, we're definitely getting this. Bobby Isaac is going to be starting on the outside of me again. Why is Leroy Yarbrough's last name spelled different from Kelly Yarbrough? I know they're related. There's no way there's two different spellings. Like, they're completely unreaded. It's not like Jeff Gordon, Robbie Gordon. Gordon's a common name. Come on. Okay, get ready. Going green. I don't like that I can't even see the pace car right now. But I'm just going to stay next to the 71. We'll be fine. Okay, we're good. This is all right. This is all right for now. And he's cleared me. But this is way better than the freaking pace car getting passed. And I get black flagged immediately. Did you just wreck me at the start of the race? You also wrecked Leroy Yarbrough. Did you seriously just do that? And we have a caution before we can even go to the first damn corner. You are one stupid fuck, Bobby Isaac. And we're back racing again. They get a way better launch than me this time. I don't know how much to have such a good launch last time. And we got Leroy Yarbrough right there behind me. I'm surprised he ain't making a move or something, but he's probably got some kind of freaking damage. Stupid Bobby Isaac, you're lucky I like you, you know that? And I want you to pass Richard Petty in the standings, because I, I think Richard Petty is overrated. He's, his equipment's way too much better than everybody else's. <laughs> I, I think if Bobby Isaac can win the championship, that'd be awesome, because it would prove what Bobby Isaac better driver, because you know he ain't got as good equipment. I see Pete Hamilton and Richard Petty, but I can't tell which one's which because they drive the same damn paint job. The, the Petty blue car with the white number decals. See, all these guys are giving me a room. Bobby Isaac. No, no, you don't want to do that. What's the point of qualifying, though? Like, why do I even bother qualifying? He's just going to wreck me in the first damn corner of the race. I could go to the outside. I mean, Bobby Isaac was on the outside. He was taking the corner like that. Nah, this is not working. I can't keep my car up to speed with all these guys running side by side underneath me. Right there with them again. 
Uh, I'm going to have to pass these guys one at a freaking time. Where am I going? I did not want to go this far down. And if I'm underneath them, they'll check up for me, just like that. Yeah, pick them off one at a time. You, you hear that in some of them games. Crew Chief will tell you to do that. Do, do, do. Can I get underneath the 11? Where's the 27 going? Okay, the 11 checked up with the 27, let him in line. This, this really is like a super speedway, but to be honest, we have to let off more in the corners than Atlanta. Probably because we go faster in the straightaways. Obviously, it's got smaller straightaways in Atlanta. But I think at Atlanta in this game, everything just kind of adds up a little more perfectly. The, the corners feel tighter here just because of how much faster we go in the straights. Uh, John Sears. I mean, sometimes it's doing good, sometimes it's doing bad. But I think overall in the standings, it, it speaks for itself. I don't really keep that much track of them. We'll see after the race. I'll take a look at John Sears again. Okay, they're starting to split up now. Man, this this is a race. Granted, it's just a freaking train of cars. You know, they try to make moves, get underneath somebody, and then they wind up checking up and doing nothing, and then you got me actually making the moves. But at least they're not always in a line. I like that. You got some guys up on top, some on bottom. I think the guys on top just wind up falling backwards. Depends on how much front grip you have and whose tires wear out how much. I guess they have to deal with that kind of shit, otherwise they wouldn't be driving like this. So yeah, Richard Petty is beating Pete Hamilton. Should have been expected. But I mean, that, that's Richard Petty up there in 6th, I think? I think he just moved up to 5th because it's a 32 car where with that red spoiler, the white one, he's falling back a couple spots. Yeah, he's losing it to Charlie Glodzbach in the 99. I think that's the 99. I think we already passed the 55, right? Yeah, that is the 99. I guess Tiny and Lundis were at the back of the field. I know we're ahead of Elmo Langley. He was at the back, and he's one of the guys that wasn't in front of us after I smashed the outside wall at the restart. So we're up to eighth. Uh, I think the 32 car was having problems in the last episode. I don't know if we really finished that good or anything. I just remember seeing him have to go down pit road. Okay, we're setting up a run. I think we've overall just lost a little front grip and a little straightaway speed, but I can still make a run happen like this. If I can make this guy check up, I can actually have the spot in turn one. Yeah, that's usually how they fall back, is they just go up top to let someone buy and they do that. I think the 99 might be taking the spot on Richard Petty soon. Richard Petty's getting tight. Hmm. We didn't see this in Michigan last time. We didn't get to see the racing. We saw me dominate the entire race, hit some lap cars, and then call it a day and go to victory lane. I mean, I'm doing good. I'm climbing to the field. Once we take the lead from stupid Bobby Isaac, who, I mean, he needs to get them laps led. Right now, he's having as much a better race as Richard Petty as he can, and Richard Petty's falling back. But, I mean, I wish he didn't have to take me out to do it. But I guess he had to get his laps led. We just started lap 13. I'll probably wind up still leading more laps than Bobby Isaac. <laughs> Richard Pay just lost two spots. Ah, uh, he's getting a run off this corner. I'm telling you, we lost some of our shit with that wreck. To be honest, this spotter is not as bad as the Nascar Evolution, but I think this is um, th this ping pong crap is worse than Nascar Evolution. Ugh. Damn. This is a tight car now. I don't think it was as much of a problem qualifying, and I had it on the easy setup. But we'll take our pit stop eventually and we'll try to fix things. And our pit stop should be 24 or 25. So I'd like to not have to take, to, to not have to take two stops. Richard Petty's getting the spot back on Charlie Claude's spot. I kind of saw that coming, to be honest. I just made this out to be like such an easy track to race at, easy track to win at. But the moment you actually, actually have to be in the field racing these guys, it's way, way more difficult. This kind of reminds me of um, Dirt to Daytona with how the AI are at. Maybe it was California more than Michigan. Michigan was dominant all the way around. But California was kind of like this in Dirt to Daytona. And then all came down to a fuel strategy race of sorts. 
whenever I did my season with Mark Martin. I have done so many NASCAR Let's Plays, good God. And I can remember all, just about every single one of them, how they went. I can remember NASCAR 2001 with Jeff Gordon. Um, well, I was racing as Kyle Petty, but Jeff Gordon was winning it, and he just freaking choked with like two races to go. And I didn't think I was actually going to win it. Damn, Richard Petty is moving forward. He just passed three cars the past five laps. Please don't take the lead. Go back to falling backwards. This sucks. I don't like this. I was supposed to pass Richard Petty and keep him behind me. I did not do that. And that sucks. Okay, let's get that 48 check up. Uh, James Hilton, 48. I think I have just about every damn driver in the field memorized at this point. I ain't going to forget the 98's Leroy Arborough after what happened to us at the beginning of the race. I'll tell you that much. Mm. Richard Petty tried to move his way forward right there, but Bobby Allison just got it back. Kelly Arborough still running second, but it looks like Bobby Allison's going to take it. Yes, he is. I mean, I don't know, maybe... He just fucking ran him off the track. Kelly Arborough ran him off the track. He was going to take it. I am going so wide from trying to move out of the way of that. Please stay behind me, Lodzba. Uh, I think Kill Yarbro is trying to maintain second. Bobby Allison's trying to get to second, and then Bobby Allison could probably take the lead if he wanted to. No one's really tried making a move on Bobby Isaac just yet. I, th I don't think so. Look at this wiggle, man. This is wiggle wobble his butt's doing. <laughs> Richard Petty, you you sexy boy. Where, man, that that's that's not a pass that's gonna happen. I, like they're trying things, but they don't know exactly what to do. Bobby Allison's losing control, so there goes Richard Petty. Poor Bobby Allison should be in second right now, but Kelly Arb was a dunce. And now he's gonna lose the spot to me. I got a good run right here. I'm gonna take it. Do do do. Okay, this is a bit risky. I'm pulling underneath Richard Petty. And. Try to have him check up so I can actually confirm taking the spot. That's what it takes. Go, go. Yeah, got it. I'm worried about passing Kelly Arbro. <laughs> Last person to try it passing Kelly Arbro got fucking run off the track. And that probably would not go nearly as well as it went for that guy. For me. Me, I get hit and I get spun and it is very bad. Damn, dude. This tire's got destroyed at the beginning of the race. And Richard Pay works his way right back past us. This is really going to be a hard race to win now. Now we got straightaway speed. You can take this back. Honestly, this is like the best race of the season yet. I mean, as far as just racing going on. I mean, we've been seeing raw footage for a while. But it's all worth watching, right? The process of getting up here. Any moment, I get bopped by Kelly bro. <laughs> and then um, and start all over again. At that point, I might just fast forward it. Bobby Isaac, will you please let me go? Bobby Isaac has actually almost led the first half of the entire race. I mean, we're about to finish lap 21. He's going to lead this. Gosh, you know, I'm trying to run the best I can. But I am so tight at the moment. Yeah, I really want to make it halfway so that way I can just take one stop. I think it'll be a while until it blows. I mean, make it like four more laps. But we're the leader. Bobby Isaac led 21 laps of this 49 lap race. I could possibly still get the most laps led in this race, but you know, you never know what's going to happen during pit stops. Oh my god. My tires are so worn that he actually just passed me back. And. This is going to be his 22nd lap lead of the race. I'm going to take this back. I want to try to go one more lap before I pit. What? What? Richard Petty's up here. Uh, Bobby Isaac let him go. I mean, I thought I was about to head down pit road. Bobby Isaac would get back to leading, but Richard Petty's here now. I... And missing the corner, so how many get down pit road in that sense? Can you please let me go? Please let me go. There we go. Slow it down. Slow it down. This has got to happen at some point. This is the best time. And we're in the pit stall. They start to stop. I always stare at the top right because you 
be not far forward enough, and then they just don't even start the stop. Don't even put up the, the counter. Oh my god. So we're, now we're all lapped down. They still gotta take their stops, of course. Okay, it was just 48 seconds, so it wasn't like a whole freaking minute. But that's still like maybe 20 seconds longer than it should be. And I, mean, I got up to about a 20 second lead whenever we first came here. But obviously I'm going to have to go through some kind of traffic to get back up there if we're this far behind now. Finally approaching these guys that are a lap ahead of me. I got to take their pit stops, and yeah, they're very, very slow because they're on worn tires. So it's nice to actually see them be affected by that, I guess. Ah, that they're just checking up for people trying to get down pit road. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're so far behind the people that uh, just took all their stops because of the damage that we had to fix. Okay, we've got some guys exiting a pit road that I get to come out ahead of. The car still will not turn. I'm running it so damn hard. I, but I really don't want to hold back because I'm this damn far back. Uh, and uh, how am I going to pass this person that drives the 30 car that I can't remember the name of? Great. Dave Marcus, that's his name. Passing these guys in off pit road. And that is 15th. We've got a long, long way to go, but at least it's spread out. It makes passing one at a time easier. Well, I said it's great that they're all spread out. But they're also all right in front of me, and that's a good thing, which means I could be confident that I'm moving forward quickly, even if I don't win. I said I, I still thought we could win this race, but I didn't realize that they'd take that long to fix the damage. And there's no choice to not fix the damage. I was able to get to the lead with that, but... When they go and fix it, then suddenly I can't do it anymore, even though I have a better car. Like I said, a caution would be great, but we've already had a caution. James Hilton's going to knock me off the freaking track, and I'm trying to make a pass. Don't know where to make it. Come on. Let's, let's go low with the run. He'll check up, and maybe we'll get to Wendell Scott as well. That's for 13th. This is for 12th. This is going to be for 11th. Um, okay, I was worried he's going to crush me, but we got it. We got 11th. Past this 6. Donnie Allison, right? And this will be for 10th. Come on, run, go. Run. Get the run. Ta-da. Here we come. Off of turn 2. Trying to get this run good enough to... Have the 32 check up, and that's for ninth. Oh my god! You guys are scaring the shit out of me doing that. Stop the wobble. Stop the wiggle wobble. To go fly out of their groove, and it's just nuts. Okay, I should get the 40 and the 98 here. I mean, at least Leroy Yarbrough's running seventh. Now he's gonna be running eighth, and the 40 looks like he's gonna pass him eventually. So far, this is the greatest race in NASCAR history. Like, I mean, it's the 70s, but, like, this could not be beat, like, in the future 40 years that we are now. Uh, I see a red car up there. It looks like Bobby Isaac, so I don't know where the leader is and, and who the leader is. They're telling us the gap relative of the guy in front of us, but not where the leader is. They don't tell us that. I mean, that's sixth. We get up to fourth and we pass those two guys. I can see ourselves getting into third. That'd still be great. I think this is the greatest race of the season and the greatest race in NASCAR history, whether I win it or not. I just really want to not turn out terrible for us. Then I'll just... It's not a good race anymore. It's biased to myself, but hey, I'm the guy playing the game, right? And we're about there. We should get a run off of turn two to start passing Wadsbach. Um, I'll give it a shot, but I don't know about this. Nope, 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 not gonna happen. Impossible. Nah. He was eventually gonna just take the room away. I that or the 27 car in front of him was going to. I think that's the 27. Wait, is the 27 Donnie Allison? The six, six Buddy Baker, 27 Donnie Allison. Is it right now? Who gives a fuck? They don't matter. I'm better than both of them.
No, Bobby Isaac, you damn near ruined my race. But I made a comeback to get third place from you. You, you did not deserve that. Uh, it's unfortunate that he, he didn't gain anything from that. I didn't gain anything from that. That both cost us in some way. I still can't see... We are six seconds behind Richard Petty. Kelly Aubro is leading this. I figured it'd be Richard Petty, to be honest. White flag. One more to go. Yep. There's the white flag. Richard Petty still sitting in second to Kelly Aubro. I think they're uh, nose to tail or whatever. Bobby Isaac is actually right behind me, and I am missing these corners repeatedly because the front end is gone again. We're coming to the end of that 25, 24 lap run, just like last time. It's back and forth. I just have to Make sure I get to the bottom of the next corner and stay down there, and we should have it. And come on! God damn it! My tires just don't last. They just don't last. And th there he goes. There he goes. Come on, get that straightaway speed. Get that straightaway speed. Go, car. Go, 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 go. God damn it. Fuck you, Bobby Isaac. Like I said, you could have an amazing run in a race. Disappointment looms for Rising Star. Frustrating in circumstances, but still a fantastic day. Got up to six in the standings. We're now 41 points in front of Elmo Langley. He had a terrible day. Damn. I mean, I already knew that was happening. We saw him at the back. But, um, we got a long ways to go until we get to Buddy Baker, that, that six car, right? And the 27 is Donnie Allison, and the six is Buddy Baker. I never take note of Buddy Baker, I guess. And then A.J. Foyt, I know he drives the 11, the white and blue 11. And we already know very well Kelly Yarrow, Bobby Isaac, and Richard Petty. But, um, what's good about getting to 5th place is that that's like the equivalent of getting to the top 10 in a full field. We're only in 20 here with just 20 cars. So I shouldn't feel too crazy about being 6th right now. That's like 12th. 5th is 10th. And 3rd is a top 5 or 6th. Or I don't freaking know. You can't math it out with just half a field. Let's take a look at the race results of this race. Yeah, fourth place. So Bobby Isaac got to third. And he lost less points on Richard Petty, but he still lost points. There's Donnie Allison, 27. So yeah, I was right about that eventually. And yeah, there's the six. Buddy Baker finished 11th. So I mean, if he keeps running like that, we should be able to close the gap and get him too. Du -du 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 -du. There, there's the rest of that. This has got to be like the, one of the longer, longer videos, but it was worth it to have all this racing content and everything going on. And most of it was just that long green flag run after the uh, caution happened. So I'll see you guys next week for the Talladega 500. I think, yeah, the, the first Talladega race was the Alabama 500. So it's just another 500 miler, 47 laps with our 25% race length. As long as I don't crash into the pit wall and blow up the car... We should be able to have a better race. But remember, whenever we were at Talladega last time, I couldn't even lead a lap. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.